Hi everyone, this is Haley Halverson from the National Center on Sexual Exploitation talking today about the growing crisis of sex trafficking, child erotica, grooming for sexual abuse, and possible pedophile networking that's happening on Instagram even as I speak. A quick content warning, I'm not going to be showing you any graphic images, but the nature of this content is disturbing. And I just ask that you listen to this video, see the proof that I have, and then that you take action to help us wake up Instagram. Now, a quick history lesson. Back in January and February of this year, YouTube came under massive public scrutiny through the hashtag WakeUpYouTube for rampant pedophile networking and the eroticization of children on its platform. So much so, in fact, that many companies started pulling their ads from the platform, and rightly so, because there were countless of videos of young kids being sexualized in predatory ways. In fact, with even just two clicks, I was able to enter this rabbit hole of child erotica. Now, and often we would see pedophile-like comments and even networking within there, people sharing links to potentially harder, more deviant material. And also some of these adult predatory comments asking for the Instagram accounts of these young girls so that they could continue the conversation with them elsewhere, AKA continue grooming them for sexual abuse. Now, YouTube has made some changes, and while there's certainly more cleanup that they need to do, they've at least begun tackling this problem. However, what we're finding on Instagram right now is so much worse that it makes wake up YouTube look like child's play. Pedophile-like sexualization of children, for example, is rampant on Instagram right now. Now, none of these photos um, typically are showing underage nudity, but they're maybe showing a girl wearing a swimsuit, um, maybe posing for a modeling job or doing gymnastics. And it's clear that the viewers are sexualizing them and are using the comment sections as a venue for sexual harassment, potential grooming, and pedophile networking. Here we see people commenting on this one young, girl's, uh, one young girl's photo saying, very hot, I'm hungry for it, and um, some emojis that are used to symbolize ejaculation. All of these, these screenshots were provided by Collective Shout of an organization in, in Australia um, that was seeing this. And they also found this 13-year-old girl who was, she was just doing an Instagram Live and immediately she got bombarded with an overwhelming number of these likely adult men um, asking her, sex question mark, how old are you? Do you wear a bra? I would like to pay to meet you. And this is the kind of rampant online harassment that kids are facing on Instagram right now. There are even photos of disturbingly young kids that are generating so much of this attention um, from, from incredibly creepy commenters. Here we have another girl who, I mean, she has to be six years old, maybe seven, uh, people telling her that she's so hot. Here we have another girl just doing, doing gymnastics. Um, someone saying, well, I'm going to start tossing money at you. Other girls with captions like yum, delicious, and asking them for more explicit photos of their rear ends. There are these countless comments by predatory adults on the photos of minors where they're co commenting these sexually graphic things or sexualizing the child. And it's completely unacceptable. Look at this, look at this image. Look at this image. This girl could not be any older than six, maybe, maybe seven. She, she might be, but I, she looks like she could be six. And people are commenting, very hot, beautiful. I masturbated to her. Here we also have um, more, more insidious comments, people asking underage girls to be their sugar babies. I think that's one of the reasons why the, the sexualization of kids that's happening on Instagram right now is such a big problem because we know that this kind of sexualization can very much lead into grooming for later on sexual abuse or sex trafficking. And we know that research shows that psychological manipulation is actually the number one way that pimps and sex traffickers and abusers control their potential victims. And we've heard from so many survivors who say that that psychological manipulation 
manipulation often begins with comments online that then lead into direct messaging, which I'm going to get to a little bit more in just a second. Here's another image of a young girl, pretty innocent. Um, one guy says, I wish I was that pumpkin you were sitting on. Um, a what girl in a swimsuit. And the comment is, OMG, anal licking. Okay, and here's the problem. Instagram is not proactively removing any comments like these from the photos of minors. They will usually remove the photos after they've been reported. But very often, very often they are not catching them proactively and often if someone is using maybe an eggplant emoji um, or a squirting water emoji in a sexual way often their uh, their algorithm is not picking that up either now instagram claims that they're going to be removing um, those types of uh, emojis from future posts but so far uh, advocates in the United States and Australia have checked and so far those those emojis are still being used in sexually graphic ways um, particularly on the photos of minors and again here's another girl who has to look I mean maybe she's nine years old although I doubt it and here's someone talking about that that is her face after this adult man has sexually abused her. That's what that comment is saying. And the fact that Instagram is waiting for someone to, to comment on that, to report that, is unacceptable. They need to be establishing algorithms that take this down more quickly. And again, you know, these photos of pedophile-like comments and rings and potentially grooming these children, it's not happening in a vacuum. It's happening at the same time, coincidentally, that it's clear Instagram is a massive network for sex trafficking. So many people are being abused um, sexually and sex trafficked through Instagram. And the research is very clear. The amounts of stories are very clear. You know, one of the big reasons for it is that minors, kids, who have Instagram accounts, when their accounts are set to private, then they can still receive unsolicited direct messages from adults, from adult strangers, okay? Most parents think that if they give their kid an Instagram account and set that to private, then that kid is safe, but that is not the case on Instagram. And so we know that many strangers can be and have been child abusers and sex traffickers. In fact, a couple months ago, I met with three girls, 14 and 15 years old, who were survivors of sex trafficking in Washington, D.C. They were survivors. And they talked about the fact that their Instagram accounts were set to private, but they showed it to me. They were receiving a dozen or more messages every week from strangers, adult men, asking them to meet up for paid sex, asking them for sexually explicit photos, adult men sending sexually explicit photos of themselves to these children. So we know beyond a shadow of the doubt that the Instagram privacy settings are completely misleading and they're, lead, and they're leaving so many children vulnerable to sex trafficking and child sexual abuse. And you see, we've actually, um, therefore launched this campaign, a campaign to wake up Instagram with ourselves, the National Center on Sexual Exploitation, Collective Shout from Australia, Defend Dignity in Canada. Now, you know, we have met with trafficking survivors and seen the way that this is happening. Collective Shout found all of these screenshots of the sexualization of children on Instagram. Defend Dignity has parents who've reached out to them concerned because they realized their children were being abused for sexual abuse or sex trafficking in Canada. So we know this isn't just happening in America. This is actually an international problem, which is why we're joining arms on this. And we know that there are some real things that Instagram can do to fix the problem if they care. We know that Instagram has to change its settings so that strangers cannot direct message minors on the platform anymore. That's unacceptable. Instagram needs to have a posture of safety towards children instead of a posture of accessibility. Second, Instagram must fix its algorithm to proactively remove sexualizing or sexually graphic comments on minors' photos. And then third, Instagram needs to update its reporting system so it's easier to actually report the harms that are going on on the website right now. 
So I hope that you will take part in this um, to post on social media using hashtag wake up Instagram to take action by emailing Instagram through the link that's in this video, sharing this video. It's really important that we hold Instagram accountable because there are children whose lives and whose, whose uh, capabilities for living a full life free of trauma, that's on the line right now. And so I think together we need to take action and tell Instagram it's time to wake up and to fix these policies.